We thought we could keep it together, and we were wrong. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV moments that made us happy cry. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at moments from television series that elicited a major emotional reaction from us for all the right reasons. A spoiler alert is now in effect. Number 10. Sansa and Jon reunite – Game of Thrones Game of Thrones makes us cry a lot, but it's rarely because of lovely moments like this. Sansa and Jon both endured horrific trials in the series' previous seasons. Thanks to their bravery, resilience, and a bit of luck, both came out on top, and Sansa was escorted to the Wall to see her supposed half-brother. It's astounding to think that these characters had never interacted on screen before this, but the plight of House Stark carries so much weight to the viewers that the love and relief they felt is palpable. It's dangerous to let your guard down in Westeros, but this gave us a glimmer of hope in a dark world. All right, I forgive you. <laughs> Number 9. Schmidt Proposes to Cece – New Girl Yes! Schmidt has a reputation as TV's most lovable douchebag, but moments like this show how much his character has developed. Cece doesn't love me and she never will, so I think it's time to let go. After yet another breakup with Cece, he's unable to shake the memory of her. When Jess lets Cece's true feelings for him slip, he makes a huge decision. Cece returns from her trip and Schmidt proposes to her, fulfilling the promise he made to her in the first season. I've known since the minute that I met you. <sighs> Celia Puri. Oh God, you're gonna say something stupid, aren't you? Girl, will you marry me? <gasps> it was a surprise to see such an immature character providing the show with one of its most heartfelt moments, but that's just a testament to Max Greenfield's impeccable performance. It was so sweet that even Schmidt couldn't help but happy cry. Number eight, Kurt comes out, Glee. Kurt Hummel was one of Glee's breakout characters, particularly for the way the show handled his journey as a young gay man. His struggles begin early in the series, after he joins the football team to impress his father. After his Beyoncé choreography is able to win the game, the two share a sweet moment. Mustering up all of his courage, he admits the truth to his dad, but Mr. Hummel actually isn't surprised. What I am is I'm gay. Bert is the kind of dad we all would love to have, and both performances are on point in this scene. It's a perfect microcosm of the show's themes about embracing yourself just the way you are. If that's who you are, there's nothing I can do about it. And I love you just as much. Okay? Number 7. Rory's Valedictory Speech – Gilmore Girls The mother-daughter relationship between Rory and Lorelai has always been at the heart of Gilmore Girls. As the third season came to a close, Rory graduated from Chilton as valedictorian and gave a beautiful speech, which she dedicated to her best friend and mother. My ultimate inspiration comes from my best friend, the dazzling woman from whom I received my name and my life's blood, Lorelai Gilmore. It put Rory's intelligence and Lorelai's lovable vulnerability on full display, while also getting a few laughs out of the other audience members. I'm the verge of blubbering here. As Lorelai and Suki try their best to keep it together, we as viewers experience the same struggle. Number 6. Buffy wins the Class Protector Award – Buffy the Vampire Slayer Even a casual Buffy viewer knows that she saved the world a lot. She even does it right before showing up to her senior prom. When she arrives, she is surprised with a special award. Jonathan gives a heartfelt speech on behalf of her classmates, who are grateful to her for saving their lives time and time again. Whenever there was a problem or something creepy happened, you seem to show up and stop it. What's particularly poignant about the scene is that Buffy's job is all too often a thankless one, with her immense accomplishments mostly being overlooked. Now, at the end of her high school career, she learns that she never actually flew under the radar, but was regarded as a hero even by those who didn't know her. Buffy Summers, class protector. Number 5. Jim and Pam's Wedding – The Office before Jim and Pam's wedding at Niagara Falls, their co-workers managed to ruin everything, naturally. <laughs> Pam's neuroses are at a major high, but when Jim talks her off the ledge, it proves how perfect of a couple they are. There. Now we're even. 
they begin to understand that the wedding isn't about everything going perfectly, but rather about sharing their love with friends and family, no matter how absurd they can be. As it turns out, they had their own private ceremony beneath the falls as part of Jim's backup plan. The cherry on top of the adorable moment is Jim's insistence that he wanted to marry Pam since the day he met her. I knew we'd need a backup plan. The boat was actually plan C, the church was plan B, and plan A was marrying her a long, long time ago. Pretty much the day I met her. Number four, heaven is a place on earth, Black Mirror. Black Mirror might be one of the bleakest shows on television, which is why San Junipero was such a surprise. Kelly and Yorkie are elderly women who connect as younger versions of themselves in a digital world. Yorkie plans on having her consciousness permanently transferred there when she dies, but Kelly is hesitant because her late husband and daughter weren't able to do so. Ultimately, Kelly decides to upload herself after death, and the two get to spend eternity together in their own personal heaven. the bliss on their faces as they realize what they have to look forward to is one of the most beautiful and optimistic TV scenes in recent memory. Number three, the final scene, The Vampire Diaries. And that's my life. Weird, messy, complicated, sad, wonderful, amazing, and above all, epic. And I owe it all to Stefan. When a series comes to an end, it must walk a fine line between satisfying viewers and coming to a natural conclusion. The Vampire Diaries did this masterfully in the series' final moments. Damon and Elena end up together as she provides exquisite narration, describing the peace and happiness that she's able to find after her long and happy life. Damon is still worried he'll never see Stefan again, that he'll never find peace. But I know he's wrong, because peace exists. It lives in everything we hold dear. As the show's run comes to a close, Damon and Stefan are also able to find peace with one another as they reunite in the afterlife. The scene is a surprisingly uplifting end to a series that reveled in darkness. Number two, Rebecca chooses Randall. This is us. I'm your mom. The Pearson family comes full circle in this beautiful moment that encapsulates the uplifting themes of the show. In a flashback to 1980, Rebecca and Jack lose one of their triplets in the birthing process. As Rebecca grieves this loss, she decides to fill the hole in her heart by adopting Randall. And here we get to see their first meeting. The scene is intercut with present-day Rebecca speaking to Randall's newborn daughter, explaining to her the hopefulness that life offers. You are the luckiest, prettiest, sweetest baby. The natural writing and Mandy Moore's sincere performance make this critical moment one of the series' most poignant. And in a series like this, that's saying something. The sweet man who fed you this afternoon. Turning you around. That's your dad. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. You look good. Thank you. You don't look anything like your mother. Oh, thank you. You're all I need. I love you and I like you. I love you and I like you. Mitchell. Do you take Cameron to be your husband? I do. Then by the powers vested in me by the state of California, I am privileged to pronounce you spouses for life. <laughs> you may now kiss your husband. Number one, Rachel gets off the plane. Friends. You cannot go any further without a boarding pass. No, 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 but I, you know. Rachel! There is no shortage of heartstring tugging moments on Friends, including Monica and Chandler's joint proposal. But that moment has nothing on this one. Are you boarding the plane? <sighs> Ross and Rachel's will they or won't they dynamic was at the core of the series finale, as Rachel prepares to leave for her new job in Paris, and Ross debates sharing his feelings with her. I'm so sorry. Just when it seems like things weren't gonna work out, Ross finds a voicemail Rachel left for him. In a tense and emotional moment, we're left wondering along with Ross if she'll make it back to him. When she does, we were left with a moment we'll never forget. I got off the plane. She got off the plane. <laughs> Do you 
agree with our picks, check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.